I have had many comments on my channel from diehard electric fans stating that EV is the future and that it is pointless producing anything else. Now I personally don't agree with them. I feel like there is still a huge place in the market for internal combustion engine powered vehicles. For instance, commercial vehicles, where the comparatively poor energy density of batteries become apparent as loads are factored in. Moving big loads over long distances is something that batteries struggle with. You see, with EVs you have a small dilemma. In order to increase your range you need to add batteries. More batteries equals longer charging times and more weight. And before you rush down and tell me how great the Tesla Semi is, firstly it's not out yet. We will have to wait and see how it does while it has a load, how bad a proper load affects the range and so forth. And on top of that, if you own a trucking company, you have goods that need to get to places ASAP. So waiting for your truck to charge every 500 miles is less than ideal. And before you call me a hater of an electric, I am no hater of electric vehicles. I do think that electric vehicles have a place in our world, but so does hydrogen. So if everybody cares about the planet as much as they say, then they would agree that the development of hydrogen powered vehicles is necessary since there is a huge number of vehicles out there where battery power just isn't feasible. Now an Italian engineering firm Punch Group knows this and they are hard at work converting General Motors 6.6 litre Duramax V8 turbo diesel to run on hydrogen. Now two years ago Punch Group bought GM's Sturin engineering complex along with a license to manufacture and sell the 6.6 litre Duramax V8 diesel in any market outside of the US. And they did this because they want to convert this big engine to run on hydrogen, with commercial versions hitting the streets in 2024. Now as I just stated, they bought the rights to sell the Duramax engine anywhere outside of the US. But once these engines are converted to burning hydrogen, they can be sold anywhere in the world, including America. The company's founder and CEO, Guido Dumeri said that the company is currently developing the hydrogen fueled version of the 6.6 litre Duramax V8, which will serve as the range stopping power plant in a three pronged lineup of punch developed hydrogen internal combustion engines, which will also include a 2 litre inline 4 and a 3 litre V6. Now, these engines will produce from 110 horsepower to around 540 in the range stopping Duramax V8. But how difficult is it to convert a diesel to run on hydrogen? Well, according to Duo Mary, the biggest challenge with regard to converting an engine to burn hydrogen is the fact that the fuel burns 7 times faster than diesel. This means that the combustion temperature is higher. Now to combat this, you can use water injection, but this also has a few problems like corrosion of the block and other components. But I'm guessing they figured it out since the motor is coming to market in 2 years. Now Duo Mary says hydrogen combustion engines similar to those Toyota has been developing are a good solution for several reasons, as there is a lack of charging infrastructure, particularly for heavy duty vehicles. Now because of the increasingly strict emission laws around the world, the turbo diesel engine will eventually get to a place where they will no longer be a viable option to use. And because of this, there will be a huge market for large powerful internal combustion engines that burn hydrogen. And I think the market doesn't stop there. You see, electric is amazing for your everyday passenger vehicles. But there is another market where hydrogen internal combustion engines are still needed. And it is in racing and sports cars. You see, petrol heads are called that for a reason. We love the sound of an engine, the vibrations, and above all else, we love cars. You see, with internal combustion engines, every engine is different. You have different power bands different ways of driving the car and different ways of tuning the cars. That's why there are certain engines that are loved above other engines in the car world. Like every true petrol head knows of the 4G63, the 2JZ, the RB26, all of these engines are loved even more than the cars themselves. And that's exactly why F1 is investing millions in synthetic fully sustainable fuels. They know that they will lose tons of fans if they go fully electric. But let me know down below what you think. Do you disagree with me? If you do, go for it. Let me know what you think and give me something to research. Don't just like disagree and be a ass. Give your reasons, like a proper reason, not just electric's better because it's better. That's that's not a good reason, my guy. Um, if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like this video, you'll like all my other videos. So just go through my channel, see if there's something you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh? <laughs>